Hi guys, I have my strawberries to show you. And I wanted a strawberry patch in the worst way, and I have one, and it's working out beautiful on top of the stump that we have. And we actually lost quite a few plants and then only ended up with like three. And now it's growing viciously. These are the ever-bearing strawberries. So what Clay and I do is when we come out and do different chores, we just grab a few berries and it's like our snack. And it's really been very nice. We're going to, we're planning on possibly putting up a table next to it to kind of just have the strawberries kind of overflow over that way. But as you can see, I have quite a few coming on. And oh, here's Clay now. Are you going to grab a strawberry? Yeah, that's what looks like. So that's what we do. We come out here and on the way to the barn, we grab a strawberry. And so we Are already ate some. Or you just turn around. Oh, is somebody coming here? Oh, oh somebody's turning around. So Clay's having a mm. strawberry. Very sweet. So. Well, we have to chase the silkies in. Okay. And what else do we got to do? Put them over in the other barn, push them out of the quail barn, because I've got a, a hen with some babies that are supposed to come off a nest today. Okay, and then you're going to put them in? And on the floor. Okay. So we're good. This is the first project. We're moving <coughs> these guys into the barn and out the other side. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? I don't know how convenient or how... Uh, I'll stop the video here, and we'll uh, come back. I don't back. know if that's going to work because i got to have my drill to okay. take the... Uh, so you may not do it today. You may not do that today. I felt a uh, few... Uh, uh, you stay in there. I felt lady. a few raindrops. There's nobody over there. So they're all in here today. So that means they knew how to make let's the whole round. Let's see what we got for mama and baby first. Okay, let's check the babies. Because we may have to see something totally different. Yeah, for babies, we'll probably have to put her in with the mother and the other two, if they don't beat them up. Okay. So you guys help us with our chores. Checking out everything here. There's the dog. What's all this peep in here? Uh-oh, more yeah, babies? No, 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 not more babies. The same <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think she can have more babies. There's no more eggs. They're doing good. All right, let me make sure these guys get food and water. Okay, Clay's going to check on that. The water dish is right full of sawdust. Uh, we'll check. Doesn't he sound like an elephant? <laughs> he doesn't have the cocky little do. He's got the... Oh. Hey, Stormers. How are you doing, buddy? So, hey... If you're trying to grow your YouTube channel, you might want to check out the previous video that I made today. And um, I do try to touch on different subjects to help you guys and to help myself too, you know, because we all grow together. And she's sitting down here. What's she doing? That's unusual. Chicken's sitting there. So, uh... Oh, I'm going to get these guys a little feed, and I think I'm going to have to put Mama... The other mother? In with this one. Okay. Hopefully they don't attack each other because... What are you doing off your nest? Yeah, well she might have just sat there. Someone might be laying an egg on there. Somebody might be in her nest. Uh-oh. And she might have babies. She might. She don't seem happy about it. Happy something's, about something's bothering her. Does she have babies? She's probably got the baby out there with her. Okay, maybe that's why she's all uptight. Because there's nothing in here but eggs. Old eggs, and I gotta toss these out. Okay, well, she seemed a little bit. Oh, well, what, there's somebody over there setting. I don't know. I've never seen this many Oscar Warps set before. Yeah, she seemed a little crabby to be sitting outside. Oh, yeah, her babies are out here. Oh, she's got two. Do you, are those eggs still good? These? Yeah. No. Look at her babies are out here. 
so excited about this. Hey, Look at them. She must good. have brought them out. She had to have brought them come out here. Hey, How did they get out here, honey? They jumped out of the nest after her. Oh my goodness, it's so adorable. I love it. We'll go in there and see if we can get it. Well, she's going to be a little fussy, so I just want to be gentle with her. But it's adorable to see her with her little peeps. Do you want to go in there and look at some food, though, so that the babies have food? Will they be warm enough? Well, she, that's why she seemed a little grouchy, because she had her babies outside. Well, she's, she'll protect them. The rooster will help keep the guineas away, too. Oh, God. See, you can definitely tell who the mother is. See how she's acting? She's hungry. Come on, guineas, you guys gotta go over that way. Leave mama and her babies alone. Go on, there's corn over there. Over to the corn, corn. Over to the corn. Mama, go back to the food. This is not gonna make any difference. The guineas are gonna try to eat up her, her mash. But they're picking. They're learning. Yeah, I have it with me. What are you going to put under that other chicken? So I haven't seen this many Australorps broody before, but, and someone asked how long Clay's been farming. He's been farming for over 40 years, and I started with Clay four years ago. We got married, so four years ago I started, so she can see she's defending her babies. That chicken there's having, laying eggs, so she's all torn up from the rooster jumping on her. Yeah, I don't like to move too fast because I don't want the mother to leave. Maybe I'll kind of round out. I don't know if I can do it or not. I don't want the mom to get nervous. Or maybe the other guinea hens won't come this way. Yeah, this might be better. Oh, well, he's got something he found. Of course, they're so comfortable with me, they don't really care. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to get him the egg basket. You got a chicken egg? I love the little black peeps. Yeah, I love the little black peeps, don't you? Yeah. The yeah. hen's still broody, but she's not broody enough. Okay. She jumped off the eggs when I yeah. went to see what she had under her. If she was broody, she wouldn't have moved. So now we only have like two eggs a day. <laughs> here, guineas. Come on, get this stuff. Come on over here. All right, guineas, come on. 
You guys can go eat over there with the chickens. Go over with the chickens, guys. Poor mama. But I don't want those little babies to go through the, the fence, but they'll stick close to the mother. Guys, go over there. You don't need to be here. They don't, I know you don't like the old rooster. Well, maybe I'll walk over here. Chickens actually, they'll go over and eat next to... They'll work it out, I guess. They'll have to work it out when we're not here anyway. See that mama? She's fighting there with the rooster now because she wants to defend her babies. Uh, she won't, the rooster won't hurt them like that. But she's just cranky because she doesn't oh, want... You mean the so no, she's, she's cranky because she doesn't want anyone near her babies. And that rooster's... He's just ornery. Come on, you guys. Let her have something to eat. She's the mother. Okay, well, I'm probably doing more harm than good over there, so. Yeah, you're chasing her away from the feed. Right, I thought I could move the guinea hens, and yeah, she's the, moving. Them guinea hens are looking for food. Yeah. Oh, this is an odd colored egg. What color egg is that? It's kind of a greenish blue with a brown huh. end on it. I've never seen one like that color, but... but these are the these are the activities that can go on, and usually, like anything else, they work it out themselves. Well, it made it a lot easier. She had took care of it all herself. Yeah, she's a good mother, isn't she? Yeah, they usually are. Even though she wasn't the one that did the initial setting. Yeah, that's right. The other one did the other That's the right. This one, she was crabbier than the other one, but she only had to sit you know out of... she isn't attacking us when we go over there. No, she's, she's not, not. She's not afraid of us. So. so we got four new babies on the farm. We've got some of those guinea babies, and we have Australorps. Which babies do you guys like the best? Right? Oh, the rooster came over. He's going to take care. That's what I was hoping that he'd come over. Well, he'll, he'll make sure that the babies... There you go. Thank you. Now the guinea hens won't bother her. I wish he'd stay over there. That's what I was hoping. Well, if they fill their little bellies, I'll feel better. Yeah. All right. I got to collect some eggs. But there's a lot to be said for the mother because she's going to try to help her babies as much as she can. But I was kind of hoping that group over there would come over here and the mama would feed her chicks there. But they'll work it out. And remember, these aren't even her babies. So nobody, well, it could be possibly. I'd have to ask Clay. I think that these are, I mean, oops, these are just the chicks she found, but uh, we put under her, so they could be anybody's babies. But they'll sit under anyone, but they were the chicken eggs. Yeah. So anyway.
Yeah. Clay, touch on this subject. When um, they get fertilized by the rooster, how long are the... It's for uh, two weeks the babies will be fertilized? The eggs can be fertilized up to a month, but to keep... Uh, there's another odd shape colored. Hmm. This... That was the white quail laid four of these, so oh, they cool. did really good today. Um, they're fertile for a few weeks. For a few weeks, so like if they get so all the eggs, so it's not like an everyday thing. She like all her, she can have twenty eggs or ten eggs. Uh oh, one of her babies are over there. As long as the other ones don't attack them, we keep pushing them that way. You yeah, know. yeah. Both her babies are over there. I she's know there. it. Uh-oh. Lord, let her babies come back. They will. She's trying to get over there with them. I haven't got time to mess with them. i got to water these other quail. They'll come back as soon as she gets over this way. Okay. I know I was worried about that before. Yeah, well, this, the silky roosters are the only ones I'd be worried about. Some roosters are very forgiving and other ones are just terrible. Oh really? They could hurt her babies? Like Mick didn't seem to bother him at all. They'll come back to the mother. Yeah, they'll come back to the mother. They use, they do. She's just up to take the fence. <laughs> you can see they're walking along the fence to be with the mother. Yep, one baby's back. And the other one just got back in. So that's the kind of stuff that goes on. If worst case scenario, Clay and I would be over there pushing them back, but pretty much they'll just, wherever that mother goes, they're not going to be far from her. And she'll call to them and they'll come. But... Big silkies are all inside anyway. Yeah. I think they'll be alright. Once those chicks get to be a day or so old, they'll... Her babies all came back to her. Running. Yeah, they'll come running them out. Yeah, I figured that they would, that they would. But I was worried about that when I was next to the fence, too. I've got a too. couple guinea eggs i got to get out of that fence, too, so... Okay. Well, anyway. Well, she's probably been outside all day doing this. Oh, Could have been out for instance. Last since night. Since the evening, but I think that one probably had out today. Yeah. More than likely. When she came out to eat and her babies just followed her. Well, no, she jumped off the nest because she wanted them to get off the nest because she knew she had to feed them. Oh, okay. Oh, you mean needed them to have food, you mean? Yeah, they needed food in their system. I got to get that egg until we get her. You're okay, Mama. I'm not going to bother you. For the most part, if you leave animals alone, they pretty much know where, what to do. But you don't have to try to hatch their eggs for them or peel them open. Or they pretty much nature does its own job, right? <laughs> I know who wants these eggs. The dog. Stormy wants them. He watches me every time I collect eggs in our pets. Pretty much nature takes care of itself, right, Clay? And she'll get underneath, if it starts raining, it's supposed to rain tomorrow evening, she'll get underneath there where it's dry. Yeah, she'll protect them. So, pretty... One, three, two. Have them both, boy. 
small dust from inside that barn. I'm going to have to do some dusting in there this weekend. So you saw that what we did with the eggs that didn't hatch, we just tossed them out because yeah. they were rotten. They're like they if, will explode eventually. Right. They'll, if they don't... So if you have them sitting on eggs for a certain... Well, I'm for a raccoon doesn't drag them off, which I'm hoping they do. <laughs> but pretty much... Oh, we got nice tomatoes. A couple tomatoes started on this one. You don't have to... They weren't there yesterday. Oh, yeah. You don't have to worry about the eggs that didn't make it because they would have... More than likely, nothing's going to happen because they've been there for a while. Am I right? Yeah, those eggs, they're past their hatch date anyway. I always let them go three days extra. Yeah. Just in case they were laid late. Right. So, like, when you have hatching, you usually should time it. Yeah, you should, the day you put the eggs underneath the hen, you write down the date. Well, at least some of the purple's going away. I put some, I didn't have the right fertilizer but they look better they a lot look better a lot better they're a lot greener than they were they were kind of yellowish oh they look at the all are in the barn oh well, they're getting something to eat yeah it's feeding time let's see what else do we got to do here oh do you want to look at your asparagus is that all gone or what's going on with no, this it's up. It's, you just can't do anything with it just yeah it was pretty small you really can't see it and then we have um the sunflowers are coming up, which we're going to replant them. I just threw them in a pot. <laughs> As you can see, they need to be like replanted like ASAP. Yeah, so, we've got a lot of stuff that's got to be redone. Just some things that need to be moved around. Just with so many so many things turning over, you've got to keep on top of everything. Chickens yeah. and... Well, you prioritize. Like the sunflowers were an extra. Uh, so yeah, They're not a big, big priority on my list. Whatever yeah, that was just like... I had to see it. Let's throw them and see what happens. The quail, the chickens, the garden. That's all priority. And here's the hosta. As you can see, this needs to be weeded, but the hostas will probably take it over anyway. Let me, that baby there is huge. Clay's enjoying the strawberries. The strawberries are. That's a nice treat. Priority for, for on the way in. So these are wonderful. I like this big curly guy too. Yeah, these are up to my waist. I know. Stand still, baby. I'll show. Let me take a walk back here. See how big they're getting? Those are nice big hostas. They've been in there probably about 10 years. Oh, yeah. But so they get that big after about two years anyhow. So, guys, we'll see you in our next video. Like, subscribe. we got our eggs. And uh, Everybody's taking care of. Drying out the sneakers. And I guess we'll see you in our next video. God bless. Bye-bye.